Hi, and welcome to Focus on Revere. I am here today with Alec Waugh, who is a music teacher at the Revere High School. He is also in charge, or director of the uh, Revere High Rock Ensemble. And I recently went to one of their performances at the high school and was so impressed by Alec and the kids that are at the Revere Rock Ensemble who were performing that I asked uh, both Alec and uh, Tom Fucci to sit down on a focus on Revere and talk about these kids and show us, show the rest of the city how great these kids really are. Alec, I want to thank you for coming well, and talking to me. us. Um, when I went to the high school, um, I met some really amazing kids. I mean, first of all, the, the performance that you put on, that is an annual performance. Yes. And you've been doing it for how long? Uh, we just had, I believe, our fifth uh, concert like that. Uh, and we've had um, s maybe seven big performances total, but about um, you know, five. And that's the first one I went to. I, I hate to say that's my first one, but it, won't, it certainly will not be my last. It is the first of many. Those kids were extremely talented. And um, while I was talking to them, and, and what it, we did was Sergio and I went out and we talked to both Tom and Alec wanted me to talk to the kids and not really concentrate on them, um, which we did. But to introduce them and, t and, and talk about them, you're here with us today. Um, tell me um, about these kids. Um, how do you get to know who's, who's coming to going to be in the rock ensemble, and, and how does that work? Well, uh, generally, I, I just watch uh, Tamafuchi's group play in middle school, and then I steal all the students <laughs> once they get to the <laughs> high school. He does a good job uh, kind of being a feeder program for me, fortunately. But uh, uh, we have auditions each year, so we just invite all the students in the school, any of the musicians to come and, and play, and, uh, and anybody who's interested in being a part of the group and you know, is at the level that the auditions um, you know, measure uh, will make it in. And, and then we just started doing our preparations for the next year's concert. So it does take you an entire year to get to this level of performance? At least, yeah. yeah our first big concert was uh, Pink Floyd's The Wall, which is a double album. And so that one actually took almost a year and a half. We were fortunate that year, uh, in a way, to not have any seniors. And so we were able to start in the fall of one year and not perform until uh, the, I think, end of November of the following year. Right. And so, yep. Uh, we takes at least a year to prepare a concert like that. So you do the auditions, um, and you, I think when I was out there, you said you were doing the auditions now in, in, in June for next year, am I right? Right, we just had them recently. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that way the students can get started over summer. I think summer is a good opportunity where the students tend to have more time. Right. Uh, they're not so bogged down with homework, uh, so that they can work on things like just getting started with the new material. Yeah. Okay. What I would like to do, because this is one of the reasons why we're here with the Focus on Revere, I'm going to, we're going to show a clip. We went out to the high school, and one, the performance that they did for us, which they did at the high school as well for the uh, Guns N' Roses, um, they played for us uh, Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses, and let's see a clip of that. Uh, I think you're going to be unbelievably impressed, and then we'll come back.
Now, Alec, we just saw the performance. Um, it did obviously took you a long time to do that, but tell me about some of the kids that are performing, the singers, the, uh, the drummers, the uh, keyboard players. Tell me about some of these kids. We're oh. going to see them, uh, highlights from them too. But I uh, don't know where to start. They're all such characters. Um, well, in this Welcome to the Jungle, uh, the, the lead singer was uh, Rachel Forte, and she's actually just a freshman this year. That's what she told so, me, just yeah, a freshman. I know. It, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I love working with all the range of ages at the high school, but it's so exciting when I get a student who has years to go there, <laughs> and I just think about all the you know, great projects we can work on together, and she's, uh, she's really amazing. I mean, to have a freshman uh, voice like that, not only that, she carries herself with such self-confidence. You know, she has oh, great yeah. stage presence. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, for she a had the best young. audition ever. I mean, she did a couple of Beatles songs, which helps. I, mean, I don't wow. know if she knew that I loved the Beatles yeah. or what, but, uh, and she did Helter Skelter uh, at, with her brother. I worked with her brother previously. He was a guitarist uh, last year in the group. And uh, so he helped her with our, her audition, and they just blew me away. And so you know, she did great this year, and I look forward to working with her for another three years. And now, um, how many seniors did you lose? Uh, just two. Just two. And yeah. um, how, many did you, how many new kids did you bring on with the auditions? Um, I believe just two as well. OK, yep. so you kept it to a smaller group. Yeah, uh, 13, 14 is about the max I like it to be. I mean, beyond that, it starts getting a little chaotic with too much noise and too many distractions and so you know we always want to reach as many students as we can but after a certain point um, it it's just not not efficient it doesn't function as well as a group and what you and I were talking about uh, earlier too was that these kids when we talk to them uh, each individually which we will play that as well but when we talk to them individually collectively they felt very um, at home and in welcome and in a group uh, um, that music group that you know you, you're doing a great job with them feeling um, they belong with you they belong they, they have their musical inclinations and that in your you you know you're reaping the benefits of that but they are you know you're also finding that talent in the high school where you know at that age the kids might not want to be you know they might kind of shy a away a little bit and you're able to find that talent and they seem to be very comfortable all together uh, yeah, I think they feed off of each other, and once they do get comfortable, they they uh, they gain that confidence, and they come out of their shells a bit. And um, yeah, I mean the the talent uh, it goes to show you know what a strong music program we have throughout the K to 12 grades you know in our schools here, and so the students are coming to me and. I certainly can't take the credit for everything they're able to do because they've worked in you know, all these years with the music teachers we have in school and some of them have taken some lessons outside of uh, the schools and so you know it's a whole team effort but uh, certainly the students get to a pretty good level in the group. And while we were there um, filming and, uh, a bunch of kids came back for a reunion which was really a pleasure for us to see. Um, some of the kids that had come back have been playing in their own groups, am yeah. I right, their own bands? Yeah. Yeah, they've been playing their own bands and then they came back to um, to play, like a reunion, it, yeah. it, a musical reunion. Tell me about that. Uh, every couple of years I just like to invite the, the alumni back and uh, it gives us a chance to catch up and you know, play some music, but really the, the goal is to just build a network, I think, of, of having these students m meet each other, maybe form bands outside of school. You know, I really hope that they take what they learn as part of the rock ensemble and, and continue on with it. That's one of the things I'm proudest of is, uh, is how th I think most of my students continue on uh, actively playing music you know, in public, and I think that's an important thing. Lots of people get involved in their mu school music program, mm -hmm. but then as soon as they graduate from high school, you know, the clarinet goes away in its case, and it right. kind of goes in the attic. Sure. And, and, um, and so that's one thing I really think is a strong point of my program, is most students keep on playing seriously. Now, have they gone on to um, college with any kind of uh, going into a music type field, or? A some do. Some do. I mean, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, lots of the uh, pressures from either their parents or the guidance counselors isn't always in the direction of majoring in music. Uh, but some of the students, you know, they just, they're going to go for it. Yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. 
and yeah, we've had some, you know, and they're certainly fair successes en yeah, enough to go for it. They I mean, are, and you know, uh, we've had students get into Berkeley School of Music okay. and UMass Lowell's music program, and um, and some of the students studying locally. Uh, so we've had a number go to college for music, and um, and you know, n within the next few years, I plan on seeing a lot of them out in the music industry. You know, since the program's only five or six years uh, old now, I haven't had a chance yet to see really where they go with it too much. Right, but right. I look forward to that. Well, well let's hear, um, when we were, like I said, when Sergio and I were at the high school, the reunion was taking place, and then we got to hear um, a group of, I think it was a mixture of some of the um, the, reu the kids that had come back and the kids that are, are in, the, uh, in the rock ensemble right now. So let's hear that. Oh, they are the 
It's just awesome. These kids are just really, I, th that's the word I keep saying is awesome, and I hate to keep re reiterating the same word, but they just, I was awestruck at how talented these kids were, and when Sergio, Sergio and I were filming, we sat back and we said, I could sit here all afternoon <laughs> and just watch these kids play. It, it's really amazing. Um, we had talked about um, the, gr the girl that sings, the freshman. Tell me about some of your seniors that are moving on. Uh, well, my two seniors graduating uh, are Dom Esposito, mm -hmm. who is uh, a drummer, and Bree Diafonseca, who is our singer. Okay. And so, uh, you know, it's tough to lose them. We've, I've been working with both of them for a couple of years now. And so uh, they're just really leaders this year in the group, you know, not only displaying great musicianship, but also being... Uh, somebody to keep the group together, you know, you might look at them and say, oh, they all look like friends and everything goes smoothly, but within any band, there's, sure. there's issues that come up, there's some tension in the middle of the year, things drag, and you need that motivation, and, and they both served a huge role this year as far as motivating all the other students to keep working hard and, and keep being enthusiastic about it. Well, that's the other thing I came away with. It seems almost like a team sport. Mm -hmm. It seems like a team sport. Absolutely. You and I discussed this. You have seniors graduating. You have freshmen coming in. You have to recruit for new hire, you know, new new positions in the, you know, and it really is like a team sport. You Tell me about your um, rehearsing. When do they rehearse? So how much time do they have to spend? Well, um, we rehearse once a week on Wednesdays from 2.30 to 4.30. Uh, that really is designed to be the group work time. And so the students put in a lot of time on their own, uh, learning their parts, mm -hmm. and and you know trying to do as much as they could um, on their own. But then once we get together as a group, we try and put it all together, see how the pieces fit. When there's a problem, we address it. Um, really, it's it, it shows a lot of dedication from the students because, like you said, the, some of the music is very challenging yes. and, uh, and it takes a lot of work on their own and one thing I like to see a lot is when the students find time to collaborate with the other members outside of rehearsal time. Okay. So I'm kind of limited as far as how much time I can have with them in rehearsal, mm -hmm. but then when they start talking to each other and setting up extra time, it's like a study group. Uh, so yeah. they, they form their own little study groups. Maybe the guitarists get together one day at, at one of their houses and the drummers get together at one of their houses. And uh -huh. you know, that's how I think the group really gets close. Yeah, yeah. And, and it'll obviously be a, a, instrumental, too, with the new kids coming on. And, oh, you definitely. Know, um, yeah. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's cut away and let's meet some of these kids. We did, a, um, a, a, we did some really great interviews with these kids. And again, I was impressed at how well they handled themselves, how well they spoke. Um, they loved the program. They loved you. Um, so let, let's look and take a look at some of these kids. Let's meet Okay. So I am back here with the vocalists. And, and I'm here with Rachel Forte, Carolina Schwartz, and Brown. And you will hear them sing if we haven't showed this already because I'm not sure how, what order we're going to hear it. But they um, were part of the rock ensemble and they did Guns N' Roses. Um, each one of them, I think each one of you had your own solo. Am I yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, let, me, let me start with you. Um, you are, what you just told me is you are a freshman. Yes. Um, and I can't even believe you're a freshman. What made you want to do this? My brother was in the rock, well, yeah, he was in it last year, and he was telling me about it, and I was just, like, really interested in it, because he told me how much fun he had with all the kids, and it was just a really good environment, because they all were doing something they liked. Right. So when he brought me to the March of the Arts Festival, he introduced me to Mr. Wah, and said, this is going to be your new vocalist next year, and I was like, no way. And then I got in, and I was really shocked. So you had to try out? Yeah. And what did you sing when you tried out? I, sang, I sung Helter Skelter by the Beatles and Mark My Dear by the Beatles. Wow, that's great. Um, and obviously you're coming back next year. Yes. And, and you've been, and when, when do you um, practice? Like every day. I just, I like pick up the guitar or piano or something and I just start singing and playing. So you do sing and, I mean, you play as well as sing? Yeah. 
It's great. <laughs> and uh, a junior. Yeah. You're a junior. Yeah. And um, what experience is this? I mean, what have you learned from this experience? Well, learned. Um, I've learned a lot of things, like how to work with other people, because sometimes we will get stressed out and we're going to argue sometimes, but learning how to like work with, with your friends and learning more about music, too. And you really become somebody else when you're up there, because I saw all three of you perform, and you really were somebody else up there. <laughs> you weren't a freshman, a junior, and a senior at Riviera High School. I mean, you were... I mean, rock stars. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, you really were. You were great. And, Thank and you. you sang beautifully. What, um, now you're the senior, obviously. Yeah. You're the one who's leaving. Um, what plans do you have for next year? I'm going to Empire V School in Malden. And what do you, what, do you plan on continuing your music? Yeah. I probably won't stop with that. Yeah. And, and it, bands? Are you in a band? Do you, um, will you come back? For dressing that? with a band. Yeah. Yeah. It it just it won't just be a high school thing. No. How about you girls? What, I mean, it's just a matter of continuing with the high school, or do you do uh, outside of here? Or? I like I jam with my friends, but like when I sing and I like we make good music. I know I want to do this for the rest of my life, definitely. And and this gives you. I mean, how do you do in school? Do you do uh, obviously? You, I'm sure you do well okay. in school. Yeah. 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 But this is makes it more fun to come to school. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Of course. Definitely. definitely. And what do you think of Mr. Walk? Oh, he's, he's awesome. awesome. His beard. His <laughs> awesome. magical. His, like, his beard is magical. Yeah. Yeah, I learned a lot from him. Like, okay. not interrupt people when they're talking. <laughs> I've done that so many times that one day, one day he flipped out on me, and I saw, like, he got, like, as red as his hair. So I was like, okay, I should not do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're all very talented. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I am here with the drummers and one of our guitar players, who will tell me what kind of guitar he plays in a minute. But our drummers are uh, Michael. Michael, uh, give me your name and what year you're in at high school. Oh, uh, Michael Joseph Salvo, and I'm a junior Thank at you. Riviera High School. Okay. And I'm Domenico Esposito, Jr., and I'm a senior. Dylan Jackowitz, I'm a junior. Okay. And my, the guitarist? Uh, my name is Brandon Avila, and I'm a sophomore here at RHS. All right, so we only have one senior. Yep. Okay, where um, where are you going to school next year? I'm going to Bunker Hill. You're going to Bunker Hill. Are you going to continue doing music? Yes. You are. Um, group or, uh, you know, uh, what? I want to learn more about music and I want to follow a band and hopefully be successful, successful okay. with that someday. Um, what, how has this helped you through your four years at the high school? Have you been doing it all four or you just started? Or? Um, I've been doing it for two years and it really helped me, like, it clears my head. Like, music is something that is... A passion for me and it it's emotional physical it's everything and when I have like hard time doing work I think about the music and then coming here after school mm -hmm. it clears my head and I'm like this is something I love and it's like it helps me in school it makes me focus more it's very much it, it's you I mean you are awesome on the drums Thanks. you guys are all awesome on the drums I mean just it's it's amazing have you been playing for a long time uh, I've been playing for uh, 13 and a half 14 years did you come up through um, the percussion group? Or yes, you, yeah, yes. You did. Okay. I, uh, I was uh, in Mr. Mafuchi's percussion ensemble. Okay. And, um, I mean, I've been playing drums since I was, like, three. And I didn't even start with drums. I started with, like, Kenex, and I would just drum on, like, doing knobs and stuff like that. <laughs> My parents realized, they were like, oh, wow, I think he has something. And they bought me, like, this little snare drum. Yeah. And I remember watching, like, music videos when they were around. And uh, I used to do, like, just do simple beats from the music videos. My parents would just look at me like, okay, I don't know how he's doing that, but apparently he knows how to drum by himself. And uh, then I started lessons with uh, Mr. Mafushi when I was about seven. And uh, that was around the time when I got my first drum set. And I basically excelled from that. And, and it just, it, it just, it seems to be just a passion. It, it, it took over my life. It, it has, huh? And where do you, what do you plan on doing with it? Um, well, I'm actually in a couple bands right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually in a jazz ensemble in uh, the Zoomix program in East Boston. And I'm also in a, uh, a band with uh, uh, former guitarist Chris and also former singer Alex Jackowitz. And also our bass that we have right now, Carlos. And um, 
we uh, we have a band called Frank Yeh here, and it's kind of like an experimental funk, and we do other other genres too. We do a lot of genres. So when you're famous, you remember that Rivera TV interview. Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to get back to uh, my guitarist here, Brandon. Speaking of a passion and learning when we were very young, talk to me about the guitar. My guitar? Yes. Oh, it's a um. It's called an Epiphone Les Paul Standard in Ebony. Uh -huh. I've actually done a couple things to customize it. They um, I think it's one of these things called pickups. Mm -hmm. Science like, that, but I replaced a couple of those. Um, basically, just some minor um, appearances on the guitar, but it, it feels amazing. I love it. How did you begin playing guitar? Well, funny story. It was video games that influenced me. Um, video game Guitar Hero. Uh -huh. I used to play it a lot. And my father said I got really good at the game. So, um, and then one day my cousin got a drum set. I'm like, oh my god, I wish I had a guitar. And what do you know? My mom goes out and buys me my first guitar. She did the right thing, huh? Yeah, she did. Yeah, and it's great. It's great. And, and you said something about your dad. Tell me about your dad. How you, you played a song at the at the rock ensemble, and you dedicated it to your dad. My dad has just basically been the major influence in my music. He's he's been he's always been there. He's always supported me. He's always gotten the stuff when I needed it for my guitar. He's just an amazing dude. No, when I was three years old, um, he, was, he used to listen to a lot of rock and Guns N' Roses for the bands. And so um, the song that I dedicated to him was Knocking on His Door. And I used to sing along to that in his car whenever he used to play it. So it was just really awesome. You guys are all awesome. I thank you so much for doing this and giving it to me your time today. You're, you are great. I wish you all the best of luck. You are great. And again, I, I just love listening to you, and I, I think the rest of Riviera is going to love listening to you, too. Thank you. Thank you. I am here with the guitarist, uh, or the rest Hello. of the guitarist. So. Uh, we have Michael. Michael McCormick. Yes. Okay, Emmanuel. Carrera. Carrera. Um, I'm sorry, Brittany Couch and Renan. Marchette. Marchette. There you go. It sounds like a very French name. It's uh, Hebrew is the first name in uh, Italian. Really? Is the last name. Really? It, 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 it well, good. Ancestors okay. from Palermo, Italy. Great, great. Very and I was cool. just saying how uh, rock and roll he looks with his trap siders <laughs> and his, and his uh, Apple Rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me, you don't have a, a, a certain, certain style, style to enjoy yeah. rock and roll. I know. And you guys play guitar and you Dude, rock, I, man. I can't even believe how good you are. And, I, and we have um, a freshman. Yes. 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 I can't believe you're a freshman. Junior. Junior. Sophomore. And a junior. So tell me, how is it practicing? I mean, do you, is it a chore to come here every day? What's it like to do this? Not every day. It's uh, certain days where, uh, you know, your mood is not always uplifted and you will, and it's like, oh, rock and song. But then there's some days where you just come in with all this energy and it's a great way to just let it all out. I, know, I always come in with great things. energy and I'm always like ready to rock. But sometimes this rehearsals get to be rough. There's some everyone has got their rough days, especially with such a big group. Yeah, but other yeah. than that, I always come in ready to. Some days you're happy, some days you're not, some days you're yeah. pissed. It's also, it's also what you like put in, and then what you get out of it. Like if you come in, everyone does like their stuff, and come in all prepared to play. You get a lot out of that, like one practice session. Yeah, that's right. the thing. If you come inside and everyone comes in, knows their stuff, and you play together, it just lifts you right up. Yeah. And I mean, how was it to do the performance? I mean, after the performance, was it? Was it kind of a downer? I mean, you guys worked real hot. Oh, I mean, just you guys were, we were, we were pumped. Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. We, 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 came, we, we came in we nervous yeah. and got our pump as uh, like we, we didn't want to stop. <laughs> I don't blame you. You were awesome. The My audience didn't want you to stop either. It's like when you get to the top, it's like a world like you build up, and then once you get finally to the performance, it goes down because like it's over and you've. Once you're done playing it in front of a bunch of people, it's just like, I played that song for I don't know how many months. It's just like, yeah. I'm, then you're more excited about the next band, and then it just keeps going back up again. Now, were you all Guns N' Roses fans? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always yeah. 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 At some point of our lives, we're all Guns N' Roses fans. Okay. And let me ask you something. The only female guitarist, how's that? It's okay. It's not like, terrible. It's like, usually like I, when I was tried out, I thought it would be like really rough coming into like, all guys, the only girls are singers, so I was like, great, this is going to end like every other part of everything I've ever done, it's just going to end up like, I'm outsider, but actually, they're really great, they help me out along the way if I have struggles, I know definitely Michael's helped me out a couple times. Yeah, the song, one of the songs I've been, join us. One of the songs, like, if, like, she was, like, foggy on one of the pieces, I just like, oh, play my guitar, and show what I'm up to, like, 
music. It was kind of yeah. like a, let's pretend the jam where we were in it, and then after it was all set. As a group, we, like, it starts out as not knowing people very much, but we become pretty, really close, really close. It was actually a, quite a rough year for friendships mm. to be made. This yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. So this, many people switched out. I think. Yeah. yeah, a lot so of people started hard. off not really like being a big fan of each other, but then because you all got through that, the next bunch of years, everyone knows each other, and then it's only going to get better the next year. Like, so it, it, there is a lot of teamwork there. Yes. Yeah. 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 If people don't like yeah. each other, it makes things very difficult, so we end up becoming a family. But yeah. we sorted yeah. everything out. It's kind of like a forced family, but at the end, it's not forced anymore. So it's, you, yeah, you could say, you, yeah. I mean, you definitely were a team. You were oh. awesome. Um, thank you guys an awful lot, and I look forward to next year. Awesome. I'm getting out in the too. front row next year. We'll play an even better show. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you, cameraman. You're <laughs> awesome, cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aren't they amazing kids? They really, they, they really were a lot of fun to interview, and, and I'm so glad that we get to see, as a city, what, what you know, the talent that's being produced at Revere High, that people just, if you didn't go to this concert, you really didn't get to, you don't get to appreciate, you know, and uh, they had the arts on, re you know, with the, um, the kids that are talented in art, but this, this to me was, it's just, it's amazing. Um, what do you think your next project's going to be? You did Guns N' Roses, uh, you yeah, did I don't uh, Pink Floyd. What's next? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I, it always takes me till the very last minute, and I have till this coming Wednesday to decide. And so I go back and forth between a few things, and there's really so many factors that go into choosing a project. You know, it's got to be the right fit for the students you have at that time, and it's got to be hopefully something that's going to interest people immediately as soon as they hear that you're covering a certain band. Hopefully it'll pull in a certain number of people. So, Well, you said you love the Beatles. We're not going to hear the Beatles? <laughs> uh, probably not yet. I, I'm waiting for just the right year, you know, when I have a few singers that can really do vocal harmony. And with the Beatles, I feel like you need that harmony. And right now, I don't have it. So, so any vocal vocals out there that think they can harmonize and sing the Beatles, uh, we're looking for you. <laughs> so you're just not sure. We can't, g can't give us a sneak. Uh, I, I uh, haven't decided yet, so yeah. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> okay. I, I really thank you, Alec. I, I really enjoyed the concert. I enjoyed meeting the kids. I enjoyed spending time in the old, what I call the old band room, which used to be the uh, Revere High band. Mm -hmm. And now it's the Revere High Rock Ensemble. So I, I thank you. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I hope that next year when this comes around, we can um, do this again and maybe promote it before it even comes out, meet some of the kids beforehand. I love that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Deb. Okay, and, and this will conclude this week's Focus on Revere. And remember, Focus on Revere, where a lot of great things are happening.